hey guys welcome back to another f1 2021 video i do apologize for uh the lack of uploads in the last few weeks it has been a pretty busy uh time for me pretty busy last few weeks uh away from games and stuff uh, i also just got a new ps5 about two or three weeks ago so i am i've recorded this episode on the ps5 so it obviously looks a little bit different start um, a little bit different um, all of my other recordings are still on the PS4. I'm just testing it out on the PS5 to see how it goes. Uh, so, hence why we're sort of starting off a little bit different, but straight into, uh, this qualifying session. So not, there was nothing to do outside of, um, in the facilities, uh, this time around. We've only got one engine supplier upgrade left on the car, and we've got to wait a while for that to come through. So, nothing really to report on there. It's all about the racing now. Car is almost maxed out. And we are in uh, qualifying for round three, the Portuguese Grand Prix. Our second lap out, we managed to get up to P3. We are sitting behind Norris and Perez at this point. We go purple through sector one on our third lap. Not a very good sector two, but we can uh, hopefully make up some time through sector three. Uh, definitely the fastest part of the track for us, this uh, long sweeping right-hander. We can usually gain a lot of time on the AI. Uh, not so much so in qualifying at the moment. We do go purple through sector 1 and sector 3. We just got to tidy up sector 2 and we can get ourselves uh, a pretty decent uh, time in. We're sitting at 118 flat at the moment. Perry is at 117.8, so two tenths the difference. As we mess up the exit on the second last corner there, Trying to gain some time up to the line. We do gain a little bit, but not much. Definitely not enough to get us uh, P1. But we do get, manage to get P2. And that is about as good as we can get. Uh, I have been playing around with some of the car setups. Um, looking at some setups online to see if I can adjust the way the car handles. So we spent practice doing that. So the car's handling a lot different uh, to what I'm used to. Uh, I think it's for the better. Uh, so we're starting off P2, current strategy we've got heading into race day, sorry I am rushing through a lot of this stuff, um, is, uh, we're off and away, I'm, I'm behind with the commentary, so we are off and away for the Portuguese, Portuguese Grand Prix, I'm a bit flustered at the moment, uh, I know the start of this video has been a bit of a rush, but like I said I am trying out some stuff on the PS5, as we manage to make a move up the inside of Russell, not a very good start from us. We drop down to P4, back up into P3 now. Uh, car's a little bit oversteery from the, the setup that I've got on, but I do think it is uh, a lot better than the sort of basic setup I was using uh, for the car for the last uh, three seasons, where I was only adjusting front and rear wings, really. Um, so we will see how we go in the race. In qualifying, it seems to be doing pretty good. Uh, obviously the race is going to be a little bit different but all the confidence in the world that it's going to work out for us uh, so as I was saying at the start we are doing a, a two-stop strategy for this race which hopefully will work in our favor we're all over the road at the moment still getting used to uh, the setup some uh, fresh soft tires for the start of this race we're gonna be doing a soft medium medium at this point uh, if there are safety cars we will obviously adapt as we go along um, tire wear also will be a factor uh, if we can sort of maintain a good uh, a slow burn on the tires then uh, we may look at adjusting the strategy maybe just move to a one stop onto some hards maybe maybe adjust uh, the timings we go in uh, who knows? We'll just have to wait and see. Lap 4 now. Nothing's really changing. We've managed to maintain a one second gap to Russell. So he's out of DRS range. And now the team are looking to change strategy. And we're too busy looking at the strategy to bother with the road. And that blind uphill right-hander uh, catches us out. And we end up going straight over the curbing. And get a corner cutting warning there. Which has brought Russell back to within... DRS range and we are now two and a half seconds behind Norris so we've lost uh, a second or well, just a bit over a second to, to Norris 
and we've managed to bring Russell back into the fight. Tire wear numbers, 30% tire wear on are these soft, so they might not have actually been new, they may have been sort of slightly used, but we are still uh, sitting pretty in P3. I've managed to keep Russell behind us. As we lock up the tires, there's now a uh, virtual safety car for uh, an incident in the main straight, it looks like from the, one of the Mercedes, and now it's a full safety car, so we've got a full safety car on lap 5. This could uh, definitely change uh, things for us. We're going to keep uh, the same strategy, medium, medium. Uh, as we take a look at the replay, so Hamilton was looking to make a move on one of the Alpha Tauris, I think, and now there's an engine failure, and, Ri and yeah, Ricardo in the other McLaren, because Norris is ahead of us, Ricardo goes flying straight into the back of Hamilton there. It's a massive engine failure from Hamilton. He was way out to the side, and then as he ducks into the left to cross back over the, to the outside of the track, Ricardo tries to counter and go to the right and they just end up colliding with each other so Hamilton out and big damage for Ricardo we're going to come into the pits and go on to our medium compound tires we're going to take advantage of the safety car it looks like everyone else is staying out Ricardo obviously having to come into the pits as well to get that front wing changed and he uh, he is staying on the soft, so he's going on to another set of softs, so uh, a two-stop for him as well. So safety car stayed out a couple of laps as we all catch up now. So now we're now sitting P20, but we're on fresh mediums. Everyone else is on slightly worn softs. As we try to make a move on, on, on Schumacher, but we just end up completely mistiming it. And that opens up the door for Ricardo to now make his move on us on the main straight so we've now been relegated now to our last place we're gonna make a massive dive bomb up the inside of the tight right hander at two to three and we managed to get so we managed to get three we've got Ricardo and the two Haas cars but Lundgaard manages to just just stick with us as we're now gonna look to go around the outside and we managed to get around him, but he's still there. And on those softs, and with the better line on the exit, he managed to take that position back from us. But we're going to keep fighting for it. Around the outside again, bit of contact. And he just, he will not relinquish that position. He's fighting for it. But we are also uh, fighting to gain it back too. We are going to have a slightly worse pace as we make a good move on Lundgaard there, but we managed to clip the, the left rear of Joe. Luckily no front wing damage, but we do manage to maintain that position here, Lundgaard. And now we're going to go around the outside of Joe there. Just don't have the pace to try and get Schwartzman. No DRS this lap. We just obviously we just weren't close enough, but we still managed to get him anyway. Quite messy around those first couple of corners, but we make it stick. No contact that around on that occasion, and that manages to give us P15 in this race so far. We're coming up to the end of lap nine now. We're over a third. Oh no, we're not over a third. We're almost a third of the way through this race. As we make quick work of Giovinazzi and that Alfa Romeo. Do we have DRS? No DRS. DRS is now enabled. So DRS wasn't enabled up until now because of the safety car. So it's just been just straight up pace from the car to try and get around everyone. And uh, just burning through some ERS when we need to. As we're now stuck behind the Aston Martin Stroll. Try to make a move around uh, the left. But he gets DRS on Latifi and he does a really good job of trying to defend us uh, heading into the around the outside of the uh, the hairpin there pushes us off the track good work there defending against us so frustrating for us because we really need to make our way up through the pack because we have another stop to make later on in this race uh, a little bit of a 
mishap there track limits warning we managed to make a big dart up the inside of stroll we get the job done he's still trying to hang with us but we have a much better exit following up behind Latifi Sergio Perez now the fastest lap of 120.4 120.451 we make quick work of Latifi and now we are ahead of uh, the majority I would say all of the back markers now are all behind us so now it's all uh, just clear air for now and catching up to some of these uh, front running teams or even some of these sort of mid pack teams as well purple through sector one so now our tires have uh, worn in quite well that we should be running at a peak performance now for these medium compound tires green through sector two so we're running uh, much better now with clear air and uh, better tires than we were on our soft compound stint around the long right hander heading up to the line can we get ourselves the fastest lap here yes we can a 120.415 so about four well just under four hundredths of a second to Perez to gain that fastest lap on a set of mediums it's amazing what uh, clear air can do in a good uh, good set of uh, warm-up laps to get them up to temperature these uh, medium tires as we are trying to look to get past the Alpha Tauri of uh, little Sonoda there but we just can't get a good exit and he manages to maintain P11 so we head around to the final two corners here we get a good run on Sonoda there around the left a bit of contact there as we try to exit the corner we didn't really give him uh, a whole lot of space there so that's probably on us luckily no uh, no warnings or penalties of any sort but it looks like a lot of the front runners now are starting to make their pit stops coming in to the pits to get off uh, the soft top compound tires their first stint we have uh, made a change of strategy we are gonna try and stretch these mediums out uh, as long as we can and go on to a set of softs at the end so we will see how long we can go on these mediums ideally we want to be able to get up into the lead and try and build uh, a good gap to the rest of the pack before we go into the pits so that we don't come out too far behind them as we make a good move around the inside of signs there just like we did on Sonoda now can we get around Ocon this time well, Ocon's into the pits now and so is Sainz so are most of the other front runners too so we've managed to leapfrog our way all the way up into P2 after being P21 after the safety car so we've managed to get all the way back up to the front thanks to some uh, timely pit stops from the AI didn't get really get held up too much Perez is staying out so Red Bull have opted to stay out one lap extra with both of their drivers Verstappen has gone in onto mediums Ricardo on his softs is up into P4 so he's been following me through the pack to get back up uh, into the top spots Perez now in the pits which uh, opens up uh, the chance for us to take P1 and try and run away now and make a good lead uh, but Perez is so far ahead of everyone else it looks like he's probably going to come out of the pit lane ahead of everyone else in P2 and he does he re-enters the track P2 so he's only dropped one position so Perez looking to go to the end of this race on those mediums is in a prime position to take the win here today but we are going to do everything we can to stop that from happening we are starting to lose time though we have been out on these mediums now for about oh, at this point now about 15 now. maybe 16 laps lap. so they are starting to to wear down a bit we are in clear air as well so they are going to be DRS training behind us to try and catch up I don't know what's happened but at some point uh, something's happened to Ricardo and he is now behind oh he went into the pits he did go into the pits to go into some uh, medium compound tires so he is now set to go to the end of the race as well so we just have to wait and see uh, what happens with our our rival there 
But we've lost uh, a lot of time to Understood the guys behind us. Perry is now only three seconds behind us after we were ahead of him after his pit stop by about 11. But the uh, tyre is definitely wearing down a bit to the point where this car is kind of not handling as well as I would like. So we are going to be boxing this lap, which is good considering Perry is now right behind us. We managed to get around Schwartzman. Hopefully he can hold him up a little bit. Slow him down as we come around the final corner heading to the pits. Uh, which he doesn't do. He's a good boy and he stays out of the way. And lets Perius through. So we are heading into the pits now. Just as we head to the uh, the pit entry line. Perius goes flying past us. So he is now back in P1. Norris and Verstappen following along behind him. And we are going to get passed by probably most of the pack now. So it's going to be a bit of work for us to get back up into P1. But we're on soft compound tyres. We've got, what's that, nine, nine laps left in this race. We might be able to do it. It's not outside the realm of possibility, but it is going to be a pretty tough road to get back up there. As we circle around the final corner on our first outlap from being in the pits. And we go purple through sector 3. So we are still able to set purple sectors. So that's a good that's a good sign. These tyres have warmed up relatively quickly. And we should be uh, in with a good chance to, to claim some, some big points this race. We're only one spot outside of the points. But the drivers ahead of us. Uh, should be on either hard or medium compound tyres, so we should be able to to get past them uh, relatively easily. Uh, and hopefully our tyre wear is not so bad by the end of the race that we start to lose that advantage to them. Still sitting behind Gas, we have gone purple through sector one, green through sector two, so we are a lot faster this time around, thanks to uh, some clear air being left. Uh, for us as we go around the inside of Gasly on the final corner that's a new one we don't normally go around the inside up to the line in a 119.183 nice one a whole second faster than our previous fastest lap so definitely got the pace uh, to really be a thorn in the side of some of these other teams that are in the points at the moment we are in the points now that we've been ahead of Gasly Seven laps left in this race. Purple through sector one again, so we're only getting faster. But it's still going to be a lot of work to try and catch up uh, to the guys at the front. As we uh, get back past Schwartzman again. Uh, him not really holding up the guys in front of us too much, but just enough for us to catch up. Final couple of corners. We're trying to make a look up the inside. Of signs and we managed to get him we go oh we go across the track a little bit but we just ease off the accelerator so that we don't get a track on its warning but that does slow us down to the point where we probably won't have such a good time trying to catch Ocon we do get another fastest lap uh, 118.7 so we are still getting faster another four tenths up on our previous fastest lap I think we should probably be in a good position now to hold on to that uh, that extra point in this race. We got the inside of Ocon. He tries to make a, a dart around the outside, breaking late. But we managed to hold him off. Ocon uh, showing that he's still just as aggressive as ever. I don't know how many times throughout this My Team career mode he's he's been pushing us. Probably one of the most aggressive AIs in the game. Staying true to that, that form. Because we have DRS on Russell. We managed to get past him before the end of the main straight. Bumps us up into P7. We've now got Mazepin in between us and our teammate who was just over three seconds up the road on medium compound tyres. As we take a look at what's happening up the front. Perry is, is leading the way, followed by what looks like uh, one of the um, back marker cars, possibly a lapped car, or the other half of Mick Schumacher 
Uh, but something's going on here with Perez. He's pulled to the inside. He's slowing down. And by the looks of things, that front left, that front left tyre, he's. It looks like he's got a puncture. That looks really bad. So Perez now, after leading the vast majority of this race, is now having to pull into the pits due to a puncture. So that may be his race over as he comes in. Red Bull team putting him onto soft compound tyres in the hopes that he can gain some of those positions back. But this late in the race, I think there's his chances of of coming away with a win here today are pretty much done. Coming around the, the long left hairpin, we make a big mistake there and go very wide. But we still managed to get around uh, the lap car of Mick Schumacher. I do believe it was. We've got three laps left in this race. We don't get DRS on our teammate who is on medium compound tyres at the moment. But hopefully we can get pulled along by him enough to get even further up through the ranks. Uh, Norris currently leading this race with Verstappen in P2. They are way ahead of us at the moment so they may be a little bit too far afield for us to catch in this race but there's still a podium position to fight for here as we are in a a four car train myself uh, our teammate Michael Schumacher Charles Leclerc ahead of him in the Ferrari and then the, the Mercedes of Bottas ahead of uh, Leclerc as we head around the uh, long right-hander, second to last corner, Schumacher moves over, lets us through, ducks back in behind, maybe we can tow him along as we make some big gains on Leclerc, we're within DRS range, we get DRS, can we get him by the end of this straight? It doesn't look like we can, he's got DRS on Bottas, he's being towed along by that Mercedes. And it's uh, everything to play for here, two laps left. And a podium position is on the line as we try to make some moves around Leclerc. He gets DRS on Bottas. Back uh, behind him we go. And we almost make contact there on the exit of the hairpin, that left-hander. We managed to duck out of the way, but that has uh, given Leclerc some breathing room that we're going to have to try and uh, gain back from him. Bottas still comfortably in front of Leclerc. He's just got to hold on for another one and a half laps. And he'll have himself a podium as we're on board now with our teammate Michael Schumacher. We run a little bit uh, offline there, which slows down our teammate. We almost make contact with Leclerc again, looking up the inside, but it was just wasn't there. And a big lockup, which sends us straight on a little bit. But we finally managed to get around Leclerc. We do the... Uh, the old in and out and the, the over under on Leclerc the switch back back to the inside and now it's all on we've got DRS on Bottas but I don't think we'll be able to catch him by the end of this main straight we've got a, a lap car ahead of us another one of the Haas cars again but it's all on for P3 Verstappen is 11 seconds up the road so we're probably not going to catch him we're side by side with Bottas heading down the DRS straight he breaks early and we break late and we almost make contact again but we slow him down just enough to give us some breathing room green through sector one so we're making some good time here pretty good pace bot has six tenths behind us we've just got to hold on for another half a lap and we will have our third podium in a row as we screw up the line we go wide out of the uphill section, we duck back in front of Bottas, and we cut him off, we had enough space to do it, so we came back onto the track and it slowed him down, and that may have been the last chance that he had to get back in front of us, as we run wide again through the long uh, right hander, second to the last corner, final corner now, full speed, foot to the floor, Bottas can't catch us, we managed to claim P3 here in Portugal, Another podium for Cross GT Racing. Excellent race today from the team. We get driver of the day just to top it off as well.
sensational victory they've managed to pull off here. Anthony, tell me, what was it that helped them achieve this success? It was a question of right place, right time today. We were looking at an entirely different race before the safety car came out, but they were able to take full advantage after the field had been bunched up. Our winning drivers are on their way to the podium right now. It's been a fantastic race for McLaren, that's for sure, and no doubt they'll be celebrating tonight. So a great race from us today. Uh, the safety car did uh, mess up our strategy a little bit, but we still managed to come back. P3, another podium. Three podiums in three races. Lando Norris gaining, I think that is his first win of this My Team career mode. So congratulations to Lando Norris getting some big points for McLaren. Uh, considering the uh, big crash that his teammate had with Hamilton early on that race. He didn't quite manage to make it up into the points. Uh, did Daniel Ricciardo, but still a pretty good recovery to get back up to P11. Uh, our teammate Michael Schumacher in the points, P6, manages to gain another 8 points for the team. And our fastest lap, a 118.6, a blinder of a lap, uh, gives us a bonus point there. So we are currently uh, sitting ahead of Verstappen in the driver's standings, still P1, 21 points clear, which we're going to need. Uh, heading further on to the season. Um, have a good start to the season. And then we sort of dip down again uh, through some of the other races. And then especially at the end of the season, we're going to need all the points we can get. Because the last few races are uh, historically not very good for us in this career mode. As we take a look at the, the, drive, uh, the, the constructor standings, we are still at the top. Only nine points separating the top three teams. But we are just ahead, uh, thanks to uh, a good performance by Schumacher as well, getting us some more points. So that brings us to the end of the Portuguese Grand Prix. I'm losing my words a little bit. Uh, sorry about this video being a little bit rushed at the beginning. Uh, but like I said, I am testing this out now on the uh, PS5, so I don't have any of the recordings saved on here from uh, the rest of the season. They're all on my PS4. But uh, yeah, good race from us today. Good, uh, a good finish for the team. P3 and P6, so we walk away with uh, 24 points today. Just managing to keep us ahead of Red Bull in the constructor standings and McLaren, who's only nine points behind us and five points behind Red Bull. So, good start to the season from us. Hopefully, we can uh, carry this momentum through to some of the other races, uh, especially uh, those ones that we have had some problems with uh, in previous seasons. And we can uh, limit any potential damage we might incur from some of those harder races that we don't normally do well at. Anyway, that brings us to the end uh, of the video, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, please do leave a like on the video. Let me know in the comments uh, what you thought of this race and what you thought of this video. Uh, I have tried to do it sort of similar to um, the other videos that I have done. Uh, but again, just testing things out here on the uh, PS5 uh, Share Factory app. Thing. Uh, if you're not already subscribed to the channel please do subscribe i would really appreciate it and it would help me out a lot and uh hopefully i won't be uh so far off with uh the next video upload try and get back into a regular upload schedule for you guys but uh anyway thanks for watching guys and i hope to see you in the next one uh somewhat soon not too far off into the future thanks for watching